Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Tonight's video is an episode of Friend Mail Friday. Now, I don't have a whole lot to share with you guys tonight. We do have a few pieces of mail here in these first class envelopes sent in by subscribers. And then there are some things that I picked up online myself, mostly from eBay. We're going to rip open those. And um, finally, we're going to open the last box of the Sean Tiford collection, which if you guys have been uh, watching my videos, you have seen the other several boxes that Sean sent in, and they are just amazing. Full of awesome Hall of Famers, rookie cards, relics, autographs, you name it. They're in these boxes for the most part. So we're opening the final box sent in by Sean Tiford later tonight. So stick around, and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys tonight is actually an online buy from one of my favorite toy lines ever. I had to open this up. I could not wait until today to rip it open with you guys. It came on Monday to my P.O. box, and I was really excited. Plus, on top of that, I wanted to check and make sure that they sent me the right thing. Because sometimes you buy stuff online, and they send you a completely different item. I've had it happen. I'm sure you guys have, have had it happen, too. So it is the right item, and it is amazing. A sealed Cops and Crooks Highway Interceptor featuring road Roadblock, exclusive figure for this particular vehicle. Now, this was a 3 a.m. eBay buy. I woke up to use the bathroom real quick one night about a week ago and hopped on there to check out and see if anything new popped up, and this was on there. And I was like, wow, $48 shipped for this, which is an incredible deal if you go into eBay sold listings. I think the one before this sold for about 110 bucks, so more than half price of what they usually go for. So pretty crazy um, pick up there. I was really excited about it. I am very close to getting completing this entire toy line. I have one more figure to go and a few more vehicles, and I'll have everything. And um, pretty excited about that. Like I said, Roadblock is exclusive to this vehicle. You can't buy him on the card. Only get him as a package deal with the Highway Interceptor. So very good condition. Sealed the box. Like I just walked into Children's Palace and pulled it off the shelf today. That's how nice it is. So really excited about that one. Um, I will keep you posted as I pick up more of these figures and vehicles. This next one up is another eBay purchase here. This is from a seller called the Toy Pit online. And I think I know what this is, but Packaged very well in here. Love to see that. Lots of bubble wrap and packing paper there. Kind of bubble wrap. You can never use too much of that when you're sending somebody a carded figure that is 30 plus years old. And here we go. This one already looks nice. This is our eBay purchase from last week. And it is the Pete Vankman Super Fright Features in very nice condition. I just started trying to uh, complete this uh, this series for Super Fright Features. Um, I have all the regular Fright Features series. Just got Janine for this one so far. Um, these ones disappeared for a while on, on online. You couldn't really find them. At least you couldn't find them for a good price. So they started popping back up again here um, and this is in the last few weeks. And I went for this. I think this was like 38 bucks, I want to say, which is a pretty good deal for him. Even though he is punched, these guys are very, very difficult to find in unpunched condition. But I will take them. I'll throw them in a toy shield case, and he will hang on the RGB wall. But here are different uh, other different series here as, as well. There is the whole Super Fright Feature series. And I just need three more of those to complete it. Which I'll be going after those now. But 38 bucks. thought it was a pretty good deal. The original Target sticker on there, $5.99. So that is Pete Venkman's Super Fright Features. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys remember him, if you had him even in your childhood. Moving right along to the next one. So far it's been an awesome mail day here with these vintage toys. This one is from a seller that goes by Toy Meister or the Toy Meister on eBay. And I am super excited to show you guys this one and this is one that I've been after for a couple years now and it looks like there's a note too there's a phone number on there I'm gonna keep that covered thank you very much for your purchase if you should find any problem with your order please feel free to contact me direct by email Seaside General Store or by phone if anything was correct with your order you could find time to leave positive feedback for us I'd be grateful sincerely Rick Womack 
Well, that's pretty awesome. A handwritten note here from Toy Meister Toys, located in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I think this was one of the places I wanted to check out when we went to Outer Banks and didn't get a chance to. Virginia Beach Antique Mall. That is pretty awesome. So I may have been able to find this awesome American card clung figure for Bionic 6 that I've been after for, I don't know, two, three years now, maybe even longer. And he's in a star case, but uh, I'm going to get his card flattened out here. I've been tracking this guy for quite some time and uh, a little wave to the card here, but that's something you can flatten out yourself with some books. This is the final figure that I need for the Bionic 6 toy line. So I have all 13 figures now. And I just need some vehicles and uh, the playset, which is very expensive. Very excited about this. That is my collection after all these years. The Bionic 6 Clunk. The Clunk was a villain, if you guys uh, don't remember him or didn't watch the show. But I have all of them on the American card. A lot of these Clunk figures I see, they are on uh, the Canadian American card. So there's French text below these ones. Um, trying to keep them all the same and four bucks back in 86 so very excited to have this finally and he will find a great home on the bionic six wall as we can see here and he will go with the villains down there so welcome home clunk very excited to add him to the family so amazing mail day here bunch of good vintage toys that I've been wanting for a while. Pretty awesome. Let's move on to the subscriber sent stuff here. How about it? The first one here is from Eric P, which I think I can probably guess what's in here. We got an envelope from the same area, Philadelphia. Was that last week or the week before? That was from a Greg S. Ended up being a Greg Swindell on-card auto. So... I'm gonna guess this is an Eric Plunk on card auto. Only seems right. It's gotta be. <laughs> I'm a good guesser. It it is Eric Plunk on card auto. John, my grandkids showed me your videos. Don't call me ugly. <laughs> Eric Plunk, first tops card. <laughs> this is hysterical. Don't call me ugly. No note, blank piece of paper. But yes, definitely the same trickster that sent me the Greg Swindell on car auto follows up with Eric Plunk. Eric Plunk is one of the omens on the channel, as is Sabo and Bernard Gilkey and all the other guys who watch the videos, you know. <laughs> so pretty hilarious. Eric Plunk uh, never really took a good photo on any of his cards. So that's why we always uh, give him a hard time here on this channel. The next one we're going to rip into is from Carson Kane. Carson Kane is from Colorado. Quite a ways from Pennsylvania here. Let's check out and see what Carson sent. Got some cards in here. And a note. And it says, enjoy the channel. The past is alive. Noel is my sister. Josh is my uncle. Plunk is your nemesis. And I wrote on two cards. Wrath. <laughs> so there you go. There you see... Uh, Plunk, name dropped again here. And we have some cards here. These are uh, custom cards, it looks like, maybe. Maybe not. Valentina Pasucci, I can't remember, say I remember him, minor league card here. And Noel, Noel Kane, this is actually a custom card. Josh McKinley, Stadium Club, Carlos Beltron, Fleer card there. Out in uh, a good one, champions, Wesley Bryan, the golfer there. Derek Alston, and we have our Eric Plunk, looking super cool in his sunglasses. <laughs> and here's some here's some custom cards: David Cone, Conehead, and Rob Deer. Rob Deer, <laughs> pretty funny stuff. Thank you very much, Carson. Very cool of you to send those. And we also have another one here from Carson too. He sent two. I one from Carson. Back to back. Maybe I missed one of these last week. I don't know. It was inside my P.O. box. 
I may have skipped over last week. I'm like, I'm like, I didn't see it. But here is another note here. It says, Eric Plunk says hi. The Cane Boy is CJ Rath the Beast. So there we go again. Eric Plunk, name drops, and more troll packages with Eric Plunk cards. <laughs> and a Johnny Walkin' Fuss. Can't say I remember Johnny Walkin' Fuss 70s card here, but the Plunk Troll continues on again. What I was just saying, so what are the chances of that? We got a Plunk on card auto from Philadelphia, and then two packages with Plunk name dropped. <laughs> Thank you, Carson. That's hilarious. And the final one we have here tonight is from Dream Big Productions. Dream Big has sent us a few things over the course of time here. I think he sent us something last week, too. Different collectibles and whatnot. Green Digs out in Arizona, also the YouTube channel as well. I think he sent a note last week, and that was it. Just a note about how he got banned from an arcade. And we have something, uh, here's a blank zero balance gift card for you to keep as a collectible. Like I just said, collectibles. That's pretty cool. It's a uh, Chevron gift card. Care for your car. Well, thank you very much for that, Dream Big. That's a cool collectible there with the smiling cars. I appreciate that. Please check out Dream Big's channel. And we got one more package here. And this is the one I was telling you about. A big one. This is from Sean Tiford. And this is the final package that we're going to rip it open from Sean. Package five of five. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it up here and pull everything out and then join you guys again. All right, so now I have most of it unpackaged, and you can see it here. It takes up so much, you can't even fit it all on the screen, but this is the final note sent in by Sean, and it says, Dear John, as promised, I'll buy much sooner than I thought. I'm sending you three more boxes of cards that I put pulled together while cleaning out, out the collection. Just as before, there's a lot of base, but there are a few nice items and rookies here and there. Of course, keep what you want for your collection. Share with your brother, and please send some to your other viewers. I think you will enjoy exploring what is inside for Friend Mail Friday. Keep, keep making great content in regards, Sean. Thank you so much again, Sean. <clears throat> the last four boxes have been absolutely amazing. And I'm sure this will be nothing short of amazing as well. I can already tell there are tons of good cards in here. I see an Aaron Judge on top and a Mike Trout. So I'm not going to read them all off, but we're going to go through all of them. And check them out. Gregorius Tops Chrome. It's a nice Verlander. So tons of Hall of Famers, stars, rookie cards. We've seen relics in these boxes. Autos. I think the last box we opened had a crazy amount of autographs in it. Maybe like something like 75. Maybe even more. Joey Votto then and now. Nolan Ryan heading to the hall. I like that card a lot. So quite a nice mixture here, too, from Sean. And Sean, if you're watching, I have scooped up some cards from my PC. And uh, I'm still kind of looking for a couple more to send off to you. And I'll package out to you here soon. There's McGuire, first Don Russ card. Great rookie, always like that one. No hitter number seven, Nolan Ryan. A little relief from the early 90s there. 3,000 for Great Brigade. And Scott Rowland. Sean has a lot of Phillies cards. He is from Philly, so he PC'd them. And I see a Donnie Baseball. That's a reprint. Still an awesome card there. And a Ripken Emotion card. Remember that set when it came out in 95. Altuve. So quite a nice variety here. Another Aaron Judge. Some more Trouts. Pee Reese Crusade card. Chris Bryant parallel. Another Judge, DeGrom. And you see a lot of older retired stars as well and newer cards in this collection. Just amazing stuff. Tim Raines, second year card, 82 tops. Some 84 tops. Gwen Seaver, always loved 84 tops. 83 Fleer Seaver. And there's a die cut Carlson card there. I think there's one of those in the box before we saw. Babe Ruth. So many awesome cards in here. And a lot of these I've never even seen before because I wasn't collecting in uh, like the mid-2000s. A good bit of these in other boxes we've seen, uh, like this 2010. And Giancarlo Stanton. 
I didn't see them, so it's awesome to go back and see them now. And then, on top of that, we have the older cards that uh, I was collecting. Schmidt 85 Don Russ. Jay McMurray, racing card. Uh, name sounds familiar. Chandler Hutchinson, rookie card. That's a cool one. I don't really know much about basketball, but you used to like the Bulls in the 90s. I was definitely part of that craze. Traquan Smith is a name I recognize. And Mike White, two rookie cards there for you football fans. Antonio Brown, been in the news a lot lately. Alejandro Villanueva, Zaire Smith. So we have different sports in here as well, too. Oscar De La Hoya is a big name there. John Elway. This is a pretty interesting one. Maybe a good thing Elway is stuck to throwing a football instead of a baseball as he walked three batters in 1.1 innings for Stanford. Never knew John Elway was a baseball player at one point. That's pretty interesting. Tyler Dorsey, Tiger Woods, some Tiger Woods cards here. And some players that I'm not real familiar with. And I know that I told I, I told you guys before to email me if you're interested in getting some cards. And I got flooded with emails. Like I got so many emails in response to that. So I apologize for not getting back to the majority of you yet. I'd like to send you guys some cards. I just might make it something like, um, I don't know, two card limit per person. Because there's so many of them. So I will be in touch with you guys. The Schmidt 85 Tops. I'll be in touch, but um, like I said, I, I'd like to respond to everyone and send everyone something that they're asking for because there's a, plenty to go around. I'd like to share the wealth with uh, my subscribers, courtesy of Sean. A lot of my Schmitz in here. That's a reprint. 60 years of tops. The Seeker. We saw a few relics. Um, from that and one of the last boxes. Darren Dalton, 93 Finest. It's a nice set. Eric did a break on those recently. Pulled a couple refractors. Pretty awesome. Pat Burrell. That's actually a rookie card. That's a nice one. I did not have that one. Tops Finest from 99, I believe. Very cool. I don't think we've seen those yet. Is that Eric Lindros? Pretty awesome. I haven't seen his cards in a long time. And it's a JFK card. So there's a, still a lot to go through. That is only scraping the surface here. There's some Ripkins cards here. Road to the Hall. And Eckersley, a couple years after his rookie debut. And Roberto Almar, a few Hall of Famers here. George Foster, 75 tops. John Boozer, Smith, 82 tops. I always like that card. I always wondered like who uh, who's talking to Ozzy in that picture. Jordan Hicks rookie card. Seeger. Seeger rookie, home run derby card. Another Hicks, Chrome, a couple of Chromes here. Phil Rizzuto, Will Myers, not the uh, Will Byers from Stranger Things. A Bonds, 90 Leaf, love that set. I don't think I had that on my PC either. I like that card a lot. Rick Wise, and Astro Aces there. So some vintage in here too as well. We saw a few of those before. And Tim Raines' rookie card. Nice one. 81 tops. And his 81 Don Russ. Very cool. Hall of Famer Tim Raines. And they're in pretty nice shape, too. Very nice. And there's Dave Stewart' rookie card. His 82 tops. A couple of those. Love these older uh, 80s tops rookies. Matt Kemp rookie card. And there's Eric Davis' rookie card. 85 Don Russ. Also another nice one. That was a hot card back then in the mid-80s. That car was on fire. Eric Davis was blowing up. Don Sutton, Gary Carter, and Dave Winfield. Uh, 78 tops. And these are pretty decent shape, too. I like 78 tops. Always used to see in the rookie cards from that set. Michael Conforto, Bone Birthdays. Nolan Arenado. Glaber. A few Glavers. Bryce Harper, not everyone's favorite person right now. Ripken and Chipper Jones reprint, Tops Rookie History. Hopefully, I want to do a break on 91 Desert Shield. I uh, might be able to get my hands on a box for really cheap and uh, break even on the box, but I just want to really rip open it and um, pull the Chipper Jones Desert Shield card. It's a lot of value to it. I, I really want to do that and pull some other Hall of Famers as well, so stay tuned for that. 
Some Bryce Harper's, Aaron Otto, Bryant. Nice Ken Griffey Jr. there. From, oh, nine upper deck. Never saw that set before. It's pretty cool. I like the design of that. There's a Miggy, Gallery of Greats. Mark Teixeira, Tops Chrome, and Corey Kluber, Tops Chrome. And I see a Joe Maurer on top of this next one, Tops Finest. Always been a Tops Finest fan. Can't, uh, can't recall any years that I saw those. I didn't like the actual design. Clayton Kershaw, Schilling. So a ton of Hall of Famers in here. Hobby Masters, Austin Meadows. That is a nice one. His Tops rookie card, but it's a parallel. Very cool. Never saw that one. Same with this one. And a few Alan Ginter, Ginters here. Gary Sanchez, Future Stars, Syndergaard, Freddie Freeman International Affair. So many awesome cards in here I've never seen before. Pool holes. Nice uh, Nolan Ronnie 85 Don Russ. Tons of Hall of Famers. And then these, I've never seen these before. Maybe you guys recognize these. MLB Power Deck, digital trading card inside these are from 2000, contains audio and video, footage card galleries, player stats. We got Griffey in his Reds uniform in the front there. Very uh, neat. What was that? That was a uh, Big Mac on that one. So they're all different. Sosa's on this one. And then uh, I guess these are the players you can get. The majority of them are Hall of Famers now. And no more on the, on the last one here. These are really cool. So you pop that in your CD-ROM drive. Collect all 12 players. So digital trading card, I guess. I don't think he's really ever caught on because this is really the only time I think I've ever seen him. Pretty cool stuff. I'll have to check that out. Um, after this video is over, I'm intrigued by that. Pretty soon, I don't think computers will even have CD-ROM drives anymore. I feel like they're phasing those out pretty bad to buy external ones. But uh, I don't think my new laptop even has one, honestly. I'll have to use my old laptop and check it out. Ryan Express, Todd Helton Chrome, Cliff Lee, John Carlos Stanton. So, so many good cards in here. This is super generous of Sean to send these my way. And I definitely will distribute them to you guys. Just uh, bear with me here. Like I said, there's a ton of email responses. Pete Rose, 81. And the out, 80 tops. That's a cool one. Tina Martinez, coin here. I'm not sure if it's from a starting lineup or what it was. Pinnacle Mint. If you guys remember the Pinnacle Mint series from 96, I believe, somewhere around there. Uh, these coins were actually part of the cards. and More often than not, you get the card without the coin. You're missing. Late 70s, Alan Trammell there. Alfonso Soriano. I feel like we got all of his rookie cards out of these boxes, which is awesome. I didn't have any of those. Our Jordan Hicks. Francisco Mejia, rookie card there. Tops Chrome. Another nice one. And speaking of Alfonso Soriano rookie cards, here is a bunch more. Never saw this card until I started opening these boxes. So this is awesome. We'll definitely give some of these away. And also his Bowman rookie card as well. And his Topps traded rookie card. Very cool stuff. Didn't have that one. I think we found this one in one of the other boxes. But love to add that to my rookie card PC. Trying to continue to grow that. Light Force, Nolan Ryan from Topps Bunt. And a Gregorius Topps Chrome Parallel here. Cool card. Mike Stan starts it off. Anthony Banda, rookie card from Topps Chrome. Michael Fulmer. Our Jordan Hicks. Tyler Wade, rookie card. Pudge. And Darren Dalton. Gary Carter. And Harold Baines, rookie card. In pretty nice shape there, too, as far as centering goes. Usually I see this card as cut pretty bad pretty off center but hall of famer harold baines this is a pretty hot card for a while ever since he got into the hall scott Rowland, a few of his cards Randy johnson diamond pearls from stadium club trammel 80 tops and these older denny's cards I remember these came out the professor and the wizard sets weren't too big one of 28 Pretty cool. Larry Walker could be getting in the hall here soon. And there's Larry Walker rookie card. Yeah, she pulled out of a pack a few days ago. Actually, last week. Walker's not here for deck rookie. Chris Bryant, Paul Mulder, 80 tops. In pretty good shape. 
and Al Kalon, my girlfriend's favorite player because of his name. She thinks it's very, very clever. Cliff Lee rookie card, another Cliff Lee. And the 88 Don Russ design rookies. Bonds and Griffey. It's an interesting card, never seen that one before. Executive Producers and the uh, late 90s Todd Helton, Bowman Chrome. Didn't have too many of those when, whenever I was younger. Another Larry Walker here. A Mystery Finest. Never saw those before. Pretty cool. Must look like a refractor. Maybe it is a refractor. I think we have a big stack of mantles here. Mantle reprints. We saw a lot of those. And I think the last box we opened, there's a ton of mantles. A lot of mix in here, too, as well. I saw someone else pulling them out. And some Mike Schmitz. Can't go wrong with having too many Mike Schmidt cards. 82 tops, 86 tops. And his 87 Fleer. And 89. Always liked 85 tops, too. Love that set. 86 highlights. I want to say somebody sent me that whole set recently. And 86 Don Russ. Always was a fan of that design as well. So a lot of Mike Schmitz in here. If you Philly, Philly's fans out here, it's actually the insert card from 87 Fleer. There's Kutch. Nikki Dubbs rated rookie card. And Robinson Cano. And another Kutch. Um, optic parallels there. It's like purple parallels. And Ryan McMahon leads off the next one with another optic parallel. Un Conforto and a Brett. Uh, 2019 Stadium Club. I like this set a lot. Reminds me of the older ones. Harper, rookie stars card there. For Frazier and Judge. And that's from 2018 Panini Don Russ. Cecil Fielder rookie card. Nice one. Brett, 82. Brett, 83. Chris Bryant, highlights. Wrigley Field. There's Raleigh Fingers. And some uh, Cooperstown Hall of Famers here. Never saw these before either. Also by Panini, 2015. Definitely missed out on uh, these ones. Pretty cool stuff there, though. And we're probably about halfway through these. A lot to go through. And a bunch more Hall of Famers here from uh, Panini Crusade. These are really flashy cards. And there's some Don Russ Elite. Not as rare as the ones from the early 90s. Trevor Hoffman's second year card. 93 Bowman, I like that set a lot. And Trevor Hoffman Minor League card. It's a nice one, never saw one before. 92 Skybox. And there's Bernie Williams rookie card, 90 tops. Sheffield 89 Don Ross rookie. And Smoltz 88 Fleer update rookie card. Love seeing these older rookie cards from the Junk Wax era. Love that, uh, that time of collecting. Evan Longoria and Brian Dozier. 2017 Don Russ insert cards there. And so we have some more mix here, or at least one on top. Joe Maurer, Tony Gwynn, to BGO, 3,000 hit club. Ichiro, so we have some more numbered cards here. Chasing 3K, Ichiro cards there. Dawson, 100, field, 100 years of Wrigley Field. Mitch Moreland, some Pete Rose elite cards here in a prism. The Don Russ pop out of Sandberg. Some Nolan Ryans here. Very nice looking cards, those are. And another Francisco Mejia rookie card. Premier rookies. Ahmed Rosario. Adrian Belcher, the 84 Don Russ design. And another Ichiro there. And there was my favorite player in the mid to late 90s. Molitor in the 3000 hit club. Carlos Pena. Mike Stanton. Gwen Verlander. Never seen this one before. Memorable moments. First Tops baseball card, 1951. Eric actually bought... Is it that whole set that he bought? I can't remember if it was that one or not. Very cool, though. The very first Tops cards. Ripken. Tops Fire Altuve again. And there's a Wally Joyner rookie card. Whoa, Hank Aaron. Two vintage Hank Aarons. These are 1976 Tops. I definitely remember seeing this car. Our, our neighborhood friend actually had this car when he was younger. 
And uh, I was always so jealous of him because he had it. I didn't have any vintage cards at all whatsoever. This one's seen better days, but uh, I don't think I have any vintage Hank Aaron cards at all whatsoever. So this is freaking awesome. Very, very cool. Not in the best condition, but I am not a condition collector for older cards. I, I, I definitely just want them to have the actual card for my PC. So these are awesome to see those. Henry Aaron, 76 uh, tops there. There's an Altuve, Kershaw, Stargell. McGuire's first Major League Tops card. That was always a big one back in the day. And Steve Carlton. I've seen a lot of his cards in here. Jim Tomey. Several Jim Tomeys here. And uh, is that Ryan Howard? Or Gene Rollins on that one. Rennie Johnson. I'm not used to seeing him in, a, him in a Diamondbacks uniform at all. It looks so weird to me. Yeah, and this is Carlton, definitely a reprint. Nice Pete Rose here. Acuna. Nice. Freddie Freeman, 83 tops design. Banks. Mr. October with the 80 tops. Chris Bryant. Vladdy Sr., Hall of Famer. Hoffman, Hall of Famer. And another Mauler, 80 tops in pretty nice shape. Tommy. Chris Archer in uh, Topps Heritage there. It's a nice looking card. Never saw him before. Another Mike Trout and a Manny Machado Topps Chrome. A superstar Sensations. like that one too. I like Manny Machado. Definitely a fan of his. And a very interesting looking Chipper Jones here. There's a Donnie Baseball on top too. I'm not going to ignore him because I like this set. Um, I always forget which one this is. We've seen a few of these in these boxes, but pretty cool. Imagine Metal Universe in the 90s. But uh, interesting Trooper Jones. Obviously cut weird, but it looks like it's a counterfeit card. It's a bad card on the back. But um, you just tell by... It's almost like uh, it looks like it's printed out. Someone's printed it at home. I, it, it seems to be, it definitely was. It's a weird print on there. But pretty interesting card, though. If you'd hold that side by side of the real Chipper rookie card, you would definitely be able to tell the difference on this one. Might not look so on camera, but uh, in person, you could definitely tell how it's a blurred picture there of Chipper. Still interesting, regardless. Trevor Rogers. And we've seen a few of these, too. And these are in nice shape, too. Necro and Nolan Ryan, two Hall of Famers. And these are pretty good looking cards too. 77 strikeout leaders. Addison Russell. I think that's his rookie card. Another nice one here. Carlton, Gaylor, Perry, and Wilbur, Wilbur Wood. 72 victory leaders. That one. And some newer ones here. Sosa and Juan gone. Johnny Mize, the 52 tops design there. Getting down to the end of the top loaders here. We still got a few more stacks. Some more Mike Schmitz. A lot of Mike Schmitz in here. A2 Fleer. Harpers. Bunch of Harpers here. Gotta make some room somewhere for all these. I'm running out of room over here. There's a lot of newer cards too. Stadium Club Chrome. First time seeing those. Some Chris Bryant highlights cards. Nick Williams rookie card. Sosa, Schilling rookie card, 89 Don Russ. Nice one. Here's a Billy Wagner 94 SP. Nice card. Don't think that I have that in my PC. And a 68 tops. Always liked that set. Some more Alfonso Soriano's. Piazza, second year. Tops history. And some uh, parallels here from Tops Chrome. Bonds, Bats, Incredible. People's Choice, Big Mac. A 95 Fleer insert for Lumber Company for Barry Bonds. Batter Bafflers, that's a cool card. Line up on there. And another Maddox there, Atomic. Love these uh, mid-90s Fleer Ultra inserts. Remember chasing those back in the day. 95 Flair, same with those. There's a nice Brett, 3,000 hit club card. Even these 94 Leaf uh, slideshows, these were cool when they came out. I remember I was real psyched on those. 
in the pool on my pack. I can't remember who it was. Nice Verlander there. First year. I'm not sure if that's actually his rookie card or not. Um, this would be like a refractor too, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, it must be refractor. This is a, a Kutch refractor insert. First year as well. 2006 Bowman. That's pretty awesome. Very cool card there. Both of those cards. Um, I think Verlander's rookie card was 2005, I, I think. So to be 06 Bowman. Might be his first Bowman card. Chris Bryan. Nolan Arenado. Steven Strasburg. Uh, Tops Gold. All rookie cup there. It's a cool one. Oh, Brantley. And some Nolan Ryan reprints there. Early Pacific ones. Definitely remember these. They're really cool. Saw some of those recently. Pete Rose. Machado. Henry Aaron. And a Chris Bryan again from Newer Stadium Club. And I see a Henry Aaron. Oh, they're all falling down. Too many stacks around me. A bunch of Hank Aaron reprints here. From Tops. There's a Mick. Some more Schmitz. More Hanks. Always like that one, the 69 Tops design. A bunch of awesome mantles and Hank Aaron reprints here from Tops. Setting five. And also some Clementes. Very cool. We saw some of these before in a different box. Willie Mays. Lots of awesome stuff in here. Always like that one too, the 57 Tops. Pick the actual carp someday. And same with this one. I saw this at a flea market recently. I was thinking about buying it. The 68 Tops. Mick. Really cool car. Some more Mike Schmitz. Some we've seen already in this box. And some we have not. 88 Fleer, 86 Tops. The Don Russ Pop Ops. 88 Don Russ MVP. 88 score, 89 Don Russ. And I think this entire stack might be all Mike Schmitz. A lot of these we've seen already, Murray and Schmidt. So I'm not going to spend too much time on them. We still have more to go through. So there's a, definitely a lot of Phillies fans, I feel like, that watch these videos. So like I said, if you reached out to me regarding some cards in here that you're interested in, give me some time. I've got a lot of emails to answer. So like I said, all I do is ask that you guys pay shipping. And it's not really expensive. To do that, I just don't want to send out, you know, a hundred packages for free at my expense. So, if you guys want to do that, then I have no problem sending the cards, no charge whatsoever. Appreciate you guys watching the videos and hanging out with me during live streams and stuff like that. And we have a random pack here of tissue, or wrapped in tissue. And we have some more Mike Schmitz in here, some older ones, early 80s. Whoa, Scott Rowan autograph. Wow, that is a nice one. Scott Rowan on card auto. Wow. Very nice. I've never even seen this set before. Tops autographs from 90, 90, 98, 99. I think it's from 98. This is really nice. Was not expecting that at all. We've seen a ton of autographs in these boxes, but we have not seen a Scott Rowan yet. Very, very nice. like that one a lot. Ryan Dempster with the 89 uh, upper deck. And it's a reverse negative. That's really cool, too. Reminds me of the Dale Murphy reverse negative from 89 upper deck, the actual set. Still trying to track that card down. Very cool there. like that a lot, like error cards. I love this card because I pulled out a pack when I was a little kid and was so stoked. The Yount and Brett hit 3,000. 93 upper deck, or actually he's 92 upper deck, I can't remember. You see 92, 93. But uh, was so pumped to pull out of a pack. It was definitely had some value to it back then. And here's a really sick one. Barry Bonds, OPG, 87 tops. Can't say that I've ever come across this one before. I always see the regular 87 tops card. And this one... Eh, it looks like the printing error is fixed on it, 320. It's a weird looking three though, but what a beautiful card there. Barry Bonds OPG, was not expecting that one. Did not have that in the rookie card collection. 
Super crisp back on this one. Looks like a Topps Tiffany card. Very, very nice. like that a lot, too. Ripken from 95 Select. Randy Johnson. And a Kent Home Run Beck, as Eric calls him. 82 Topps. Looking very, very young. Very nice uh, surprises in that stack. And I think we have some celebrity cards here. Mel Allen. Cooperstown card. Duke Snyder. I think there were some celebrities. Lindros. Peter Forsberg, so we have some hockey in here now, too. Lindros again, Mark Recchi, remember him. Matthew Stafford, Joey Galloway was a big name, kind of when I stopped uh, collecting cards. Demarius Thomas, Darkies Denhard, I'm not going to pronounce his name. Artist Proof, it's a cool card, from Mark Howe. So these were around when I was collecting, too, I remember that design. From, uh, what is that, Pinnacle, yeah. Brandon Marshall. And Marty Booker, Darren Lee, they were Topps card, rookie card there. George Bryan, the fourth golfer. Matt Sundin, I definitely had that one. It's actually his rookie card from 99 one upper deck. And Bernard Langer, National Heroes. You guys, let's let me know about those guys. I don't really know anything about golf at all, other than like Arnie Palmer and Tiger. Greg Harrington. Colin Montgomery, Mike Weir, Mike Weir again, and Tony Stewart, uh, NASCAR racer there. That takes care of all the top loaded cards. And we have a bunch of other ones in here too that we're throwing in the mix. These are celebrity cards. Um, I guess we have some Kentucky, Kentucky Derby cards here. Some celebrities, Jimmy Stewart. You guys remember him from It's a Wonderful Life. Die cut cards here. Never seen these before. And a lot of these celebrities I don't recognize. Rose McGowan, I know her. So a lot of interesting cards here from Panini Americana set. Roger Moore, Pacino, Stallone, James Earl Jones. I'm sure you guys recognize him. Definitely uh, love his role in Field of Dreams. John McKinley, Bradley Cooper from The Hangover. Ralph Macchio, you guys know Ralph. He was actually just at uh, Steel City Con not too long ago. Jackie Chan, Eric Roberts. So a lot of these guys, I'm sure you remember. And we got some doubles in here. John Cusack. I always like John Cusack. Definitely a fan of his. He's a good actor. Got some movies I like a lot. Um, Fourteen oh eight. I like that movie a lot. Like uh, creepy supernatural movies like that. Burt Reynolds. He was actually at Steel City Con uh, not too long ago. Noreen DeWolf. Thought I recognized her, but Tommy Chong <laughs> ends that stack off. We still have some more too. I see an Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade heritage card here. From uh, 2008. Poster art. It's pretty cool. And a checklist for it as well. And we have some 007 cards here. If you guys have never seen these. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Because the video is already running pretty long as it is. But never knew these existed. Pretty cool stuff though. Daniel Craig is James Bond. I'm sure what year these came out. Quantum Solace was 2015. I can't remember if I saw Quantum Solace or not. I kind of fell off the James Bond movies in the 90s. So I think the last one I saw was Die on a Day. But uh, maybe, I think I might have saw parts of some of these uh, Daniel Craig ones and they look pretty sick. So I'm going to go back and rewatch these. As I hear they're pretty good. I, I definitely heard Quantum Solace was good too. So we got a bunch of James Bond cards. I'm not going to go through all of them. Check those out if you enjoy them. Um, I see some 91 tops. I think he sent, sent us like the entire set of 91 tops. Um, some more Bond cards. Some football cards. I'm not going to go through all those right now either. Um, what else do we have here? Some more Indiana Jones Heritage cards. Those are pretty sick. I'm going to check those out later. We have two random boxes here as well. So I'm not sure what's in here. Something that's kind of noisy in this first box take a look at this one. 
What is this? Wow, this is freaking awesome. It's an original Kraft macaroni and cheese with cards on the back. Home plate heroes, Donnie Baseball and Mike Schmidt. What year is this from? Where's the expiration date on it? Wow, this is sick. An unopened, sealed, original Kraft macaroni and cheese. Wow, look at this box. This like screams 80s. 1988. January 28th, 1988. This is really, really awesome. Was not expecting that at all. I love stuff like this. Um, really, really enjoy this a lot. Home Plate Heroes. Collect all 48 Kraft Home Plate Heroes baseball cards. Wow, is that sick. S -s Such a retro design on that. I love it. That is freaking awesome. I had to put that in the background. And we have one more mystery box here. The final thing from Sean Tiford. Can't thank you enough, man. Like I said, I have a few things going out to you. Nothing crazy, but I took into consideration the stuff that you're collecting. So hopefully it's some stuff that you don't have. And we have a bunch of slab cards in here. A bunch of slabs to end off the Sean Tiford collection. I have no idea what these are going to be. A bunch of autographs. Historic autographs. 2017 scripts. Hank Butcher. I have never seen these before. And they're all Beckett authenticated. All from 2017. Hank Butcher. Wow, these are really cool. Wow. Jerry Don Gleaton. He's got like a, a Bible uh, passage on there and he mentions in his autograph. Jerry Don Gleaton. Jack Armstrong. A pretty crazy signature there. These are freaking awesome, man. Uh, somebody that I do not remember, John Diacquisto. Diacquisto. I guess the backs are all the same, but uh, these are very interesting. Best wishes, John Diacquisto. Aquacito, however you pronounce that. Jim Hughes. A uh, Gordon Jones. Esteban Beltry. Definitely remember him. Eddie Ainsmith. It's kind of a weird signature there. There is Dom D'Alessandro. 1220. I didn't see when he, read, when he assigned that. 12, 20, 13? I guess it's not 13. When these came out in 2017. Dominic D'Alessandro. Jim, Jim McLeod. Or McLeod. However you pronounce it. I can't remember. But, uh... Not too bad of a signature there. Pretty uh, legible. And Mar Blaylock. And the last one is... Jack... Merson. These are really cool autos here, man. I've never seen these cards. Didn't even know they existed. 2017 Historic Autograph Company. It's kind of like he signed a note card there. That one's different than the other ones. Very uh, interesting stuff. This has been an absolutely amazing collection. Um, I don't know what to say at all. Sean Tiever, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I'm sure uh, everyone enjoyed watching these. An amazing collection you have there. And he also sent some Ghostbusters cards too, I'm seeing. There's celebrity cards, there's Ghostbusters cards, like so much stuff in here. You guys have seen these on my channel before though. Um, behind the scenes here, Ghostbusters. There's just so much variety in uh, these boxes. Super cool of Sean to send these my way. Like I said, um, be patient. I will respond to your emails and I will definitely get some cards up to you as well. Sometime very soon. But all in all, I said uh, I, I say this FMF was pretty amazing. A ton of cool stuff, toys, baseball cards. What else could you want, you know? And uh, definitely love that Kraft macaroni and cheese box. That is so cool. I can't wait to display that forever. So thanks again, Sean. Thank you again to everyone else that's sending packages. 
and thank you for watching. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great weekend.